Today we're going to talk about something called pagophagia. This is a fancy term for the strong desire or urge to chew crushed ice. This is a very interesting condition, uh, so let's get into it. So some of you guys may have heard about people chewing crushed ice. This is a part of a larger disorder called pica. Now pica is an eating disorder characterized by a compulsive consumption of non-foods. Non-foods as in these things that people consume, they're not products with any nutritional value. So this can be very common in children. You know, I've seen so many little kids just eating random stuff. It is usually not dangerous. This does tend to happen during pregnancy and there are other conditions like mental health conditions, things like OCD and all sorts of other things that could lead to someone wanting to consume non-food items. I don't know if anyone's ever watched this show, but when I was younger, I remember watching the show, My Strange Addiction. I don't know if it's still going on because TLC had some wild shows. This one was interesting because apart from other stuff people would do, you would have episodes where people would be eating things like chalk or deodorant or paint chips or whatever, lint. And I thought it was the craziest thing. And then a week ago, I had this idea to make this video and all of those people who would consume random things had this disorder, pica. Now the most common non-foods consumed can be ice, dirt, ash, hair, paint, soap, chalk, talcum powder, and the list goes on and on. Now this may sound weird to anyone who doesn't do this, but it is a very real thing and people can have this compulsion to just eat something random and people will have certain things that they like over others. Now these non-food items consumed can lead to all sorts of things like anemia, irregular heartbeat, electrolyte imbalance, roundworm infection. A lot of this depends on what you're consuming, but the whole idea is that because you're consuming items that are not of any nutritional value, you can lose that nutrition, like have low electrolytes or anemia, as in you don't get enough iron or your red blood cells aren't functioning properly, et cetera, et cetera. Something like roundworm infection from just eating dirt and getting infected with something. But today, as I mentioned, we're gonna talk about the desire to chew crushed ice. Let's get into that. So as I mentioned at the very beginning, pagophagia is this desire to chew crushed ice. I am very familiar with it. I have some family members that do this and our member, family member of mine telling me that she does it because she has an iron deficiency. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Anemia is a condition where you have a low red blood cell count. Now this may be caused by all sorts of things, but here we're gonna talk about low iron. Now the question is why does a body need iron, number two, to make red blood cells? Well, it turns out that there's this molecule called heme. Heme is important because in the red blood cell, you need to transport oxygen. If you don't have iron, you don't have the proper materials or recipe to transport blood. As you can see here, this iron complex is very important because this really holds together this heme molecule, which is what this big thing is right here. And this iron complex is responsible for helping carry that oxygen throughout the body to drop off to organs and cells so that we can live and survive. If you have low iron, you can expect things like tiredness, weakness, headaches, low appetite. These are the more mild symptoms. They do get more intense depending on the deficiency. And this can be determined from a simple blood test and all sorts of other things. So pagophagia, let's get into the specifics. A lot of these symptoms that were the reason for these symptoms is not really well understood but it means chewing crushed ice due to iron deficiency. This could be all sorts of other reasons, but we're gonna talk about iron deficiency. And this is a persistent desire. This is, from what I read, the difference between pagophagia and other different things. It's a persistence. It's almost like an addiction or something you really, really feel the need to do. I remember a family member telling me that she likes different types of crushed ice, which is why I put that Sonic cup. She preferred the smaller types of ice and I'm sure those of you who do chew crushed ice, you might be connecting with this. It seems like the different types of ice and some of the flavor might be related to some of this. It's really, really interesting. As I mentioned before, there's not a whole lot known about this condition, and it's thought that chewing ice can provide a stimulation almost for the relief of the low energy-like symptoms that come with having low iron. Now the causes of pagophagia can be like an iron deficiency, an eating disorder, as I mentioned earlier, OCD, stress, calcium deficiency. This condition results from all sorts of things as you can see. 
So what are the treatments for an iron deficiency? Well, oftentimes diet is a really, really big factor. And this is a factor for all sorts of different medical conditions. So uh, red meats are really good. Uh, leafy greens, broccoli, organ meats are very, very good for you. I know they sound disgusting, but the organs of a lot of animals are very nutrient dense. And things like livers, like poultry liver, are really good for iron deficiency. Legumes, which include beans and all sorts of good things. Shellfish is really good for low iron. And then as far as medicine, you can always consume iron supplements like ferrous sulfate. This is elemental iron, which means it's actual iron. And it's processed in a way that allows your body to readily absorb it. Or, depending on what your hematologist wants, you could get an iron IV. I don't really know how all this works. I just found this on a hospital website. I thought it was very interesting, so I wanted to include it. But as I mentioned, there are all sorts of interesting ways to treat low iron, diet being a huge part of this whole situation. So let's go through the summary and review what we covered today. So we first mentioned this eating disorder, pica, that's characterized by a compulsive consumption of non-food items. It's common in children, it's usually not dangerous. The common non-foods can be things like ice or ash or chalk, talcum powder, all sorts of different things. Consumption may lead to things like anemia, electrolyte imbalance, because you're not consuming nutrient dense foods. And these items just don't have any nutritional value. We talked about the iron deficiency, how iron is a really, really big part of the oxygen being carried to the rest of our body to allow us to survive and get the nutrients we need. Then we spoke about pagophagia, this intense desire to chew ice oftentimes can be due to an iron deficiency. There's not much known about it. You can get it from an eating disorder, iron deficiency, as I just mentioned, OCD, all sorts of different things. We then closed out talking about the treatments for iron deficiency, diet being a huge part of it, these nutrient dense foods that can regulate the iron in your body. Or depending on what your doctor says, you might get iron supplements, and if it's necessary, you could get an iron IV infusion. So that's all I got for this video. When I got this idea, I had to make a video for it because I've always wanted to learn about this. And hopefully you guys learned some new interesting facts about this very, very intriguing medical condition. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends and I'll be back soon with another video.